replace a neck cork, you will need contact cement, a torch, a razor knife, sandpaper, a pencil, and a neck cork. First of all, you will have to prepare the new neck cork by trimming it so that it is the same width as the cork you are replacing. Always trim the cork with a straight edge and your razor knife. Lay your neck cork on a solid flat surface and gently tap the entire surface of the cork with a blunt hammer or mallet. This will soften the cork and reduce its chances of cracking when wrapped around the neck. Now you will need to prepare the neck for cork replacement. Remove the existing cork and clean the surface that the old cork was on. A little heat from your torch applied to the area where the cork was will burn away any old cork and soften adhesives left on the area. Rubbing alcohol might also come in handy for removing the adhesive. Once the neck is completely clean and free of debris, practice wrapping your new cork around the neck without any glue. If you think your cork is too brittle and may break, try tapping it again with the hammer. Now you are ready to apply the adhesive. Paint a coat of contact cement on the unbeveled side of the cork. It is marked with a large X. Turn the cork over and apply a thin coat of contact cement to the beveled portion of the cork, marked with the two smaller X's. Be careful not to let the cement touch any surface and do not touch the cement with your hands. Now paint the portion of the saxophone neck that will be covered by the neck cork. Let the contact cement dry on both surfaces for about 5 to 10 minutes, depending on humidity and temperature before you go any further. Once the contact cement has completely dried, you can wrap the new cork around the neck. Be careful, because once the two pieces that are painted go together, there is no going back. They will instantly form a permanent bond. Gently trim off the excess cork and save it for another job. The glue on it will not hurt it, just glue the same side the next time you use it. Now cut the appropriate size piece of sandpaper and sand the bevel so that it is smooth. Do not over sand, just take off the lip that is left behind. Be very careful not to mar the finish on your horn. When this is done, try putting your mouthpiece on gently. If you think it will fit but is snug, put cork grease on your new neck cork and work it in with your thumb and first finger. If the neck cork is too big for the mouthpiece to go on, sand it down. Apply cork grease often for one week. 